Sharon, Rick, after this young man disappeared, investigators already had their suspicions about a friend of his. But after Blaze Bernstein's body was discovered, discovered, that investigation really sped up. And now with a combination of DNA evidence, physical evidence, and some statements from the suspect, investigators felt today they had enough to move in and make an arrest. This is the man investigators with the Orange County Sheriff's Department believe was the last person to see 19-year-old Blaze Bernstein alive. And now they think they know why. Today at approximately 1.15 p.m., we arrested Samuel Lincoln Woodward, 20 of Newport Beach, on suspicion of homicide. Bernstein, who was home on winter break from the University of Pennsylvania, disappeared from his parents' Lake Forest home more than a week ago. Investigators say Woodward, a former classmate of Bernstein's at Orange County School of the Arts, admitted to picking Bernstein up at his home the night of his disappearance. But he told investigators when they went to Borrego Park, Bernstein walked off, supposedly, to see another friend and that he never saw him again. A week later, after multiple searches of the park, Bernstein's body was found. Blaze's body was buried in a shallow grave in the brush surrounding the perimeter of the park. Based on the condition of the body at the scene, the investigation evolved from a missing person case to a homicide investigation. Based on inconsistencies in the story of the friend, our investigators focused on this individual as a person of interest in the homicide of Blaze. And right now we're going to show you the new booking photo of that suspect. There it is right there. We're told we should expect to see charges filed in the case next week. Prosecutors have some time after the arrest to do that. They say they expect sometime early next week. We will see charges filed. Meanwhile, Bernstein's family had a friend release a statement asking people to remember his or in his memory to treat people with acts of loving kindness. For now, we're putting live in Santa Ana. I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chip, we thank you for that.